Are you thinking about moving into Flower Mound, Texas, or I guess as the locals refer to it as FLOMO or the mound? Well, you made a good decision because according to livability.com in 2023, Flower Mound was ranked number two nationally. In fact, it scored 872 out of a thousand as one of the best places to live. In this video, we are going to take you around Flower Mound. We're gonna visit three different neighborhoods at three different price points so that you can get an idea of what may fit into your style and budget in Flower Mound, Texas. Saludos y bienvenido a nuestro canal y a la ciudad de Flower Mound, Texas. Hi guys, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, living, working, playing, or moving, to Flower Mound, Texas, or to any mm -hmm. of the other North Dallas, mm -hmm. Texas suburbs, mm -hmm. then subscribe below, tap that notification bell, and don't forget to hit that like button so that you can be the first to know about what's going on in the current real estate market in the North Dallas area. Guys, my name's Marilyn, mm -hmm. this is my husband, Mike, and we are full-time real estate agents here in the state of Texas, but we specialize in the North Dallas mm -hmm. area, and we get contacted every single day from folks just like mm -hmm. you who are looking to make that move into the Dallas area, and we just love it. So it doesn't matter whether you're needing to move in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year, mm -hmm. or you're just really starting out the planning process. Mm -hmm. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or better yet, set up a Zoom mm -hmm. call yep. for us if you're moving into the great state of Texas, and we will go ahead and be more than happy to sit down with you and strategize and make a plan for you. Flaramont offers the perfect balance mm. between green space, outdoor living and city living. Mm. It has over a thousand acres of parks and hike and bike mm. trails that connect communities, yeah. athletic fields. And if you are a golfer, you are in luck yeah. because Flower Mound is home to two world-class golf yeah, courses, one Bridalwood, which we did a video on uh, the Bridalwood community, so check it out. And then the second one is in Tour 18. But also, if you love horses, mm -hmm. then you are in luck because Flower Mound has some of the largest um, equestrian centers where you can board your horses, train. Yeah. Um, they have 12 miles of horseback trails. That is just amazing. And of course, we can't forget your furry parts. Yeah. Where, you know, there's plenty of uh, pet parks yeah. for your furry four-legged babies. Yeah. One of the cool spots that you'll come across in your uh, tour around Flower Mound, just as you enter Flower Mound from Louisville on 1171, one of the first gathering places that was established around Flower Mound is Parker Square. You can't miss it, it's on your right-hand side. There's a beautiful gazebo that you can gather under. There's retail, there's some uh, great restaurants there. There's a little old-fashioned barber shop local church area there as well. And there's a, always a lot of events that take place via the community um, uh, people around there. There's a Christmas time parade. They have an Easter egg hunt. Uh, they've had sometimes on 4th of July, they'll have a kids parade yeah. that'll all end in Parker Square. So it's a great place for the community to gather. It was established in 1999, but one of your stopping points when you're driving around Flower Mound, Texas. And as we mentioned, Flower Mound has a lot of cool new areas. And in fact, we're in one of them now, and this is the, the brand new Lakeside District. Yes. It's a little further south on in Flower Mound. It's down at the end of 2499 or Long Prairie Road. There's two different names for everything here. So it's a little bit further south, but it's a great little area. Um, we're across now from the, the tavern on Lakeside, a place for, uh, you know, to eat and gather, a little burger place. Right behind us is the Urban Vibe Body Soul. There's a wine tasting room across the street. There is a yogurt place just on the, on the corner there. So a lot to do. It's a, it's a combination of retail, um, there's townhomes, there's condominiums, there's single family residents. So much to do around here. It's very close to Grapevine Mills Mall. So a fantastic place to come out and visit and even live when you're coming to Flower Mound. Don't forget the Lakeside District. All right, so giving you a bird's eye view again of where Flower Mound is, if you're not quite sure, it sits really almost in between two counties, more so in Denton County, but uh, the Lakeside District, like we talked about, is on the fringe of Tarrant County. And what also a lot of people like about Flower Mound is 
because there's a lot of family development around here is the school system. Flower Mound is in the Louisville ISD uh, Independent School District, and it's rated A by Nietzsche.com, which is a rating system that we use looking at a lot of cities and school districts. According to Realtor.com, the median listing price of homes in Flower Mound in, 20, in October of 2023 was $654,000, and the median sold price was $506,000. All right, so the average household income in Flower Mound is $171,000, and 84.5% of its residents do own oh. their homes. Some of the top employers that you're gonna find in Flower Mound are Stryker, mm. Fidelity, Texas Health, just to name a few. Now, when you wanna come, if you wanna compare the cost of living in Flower Mound to the national average, Flower Mound hits a mm. little bit higher. Mm. So you have, um, four, by 4%, the cost of living is 4% higher. Housing is 17% higher. Wow. And the utilities are 18% higher. Now taking a closer look at the real estate market right now, currently in Flower Mound, there are 135 active listings in the MLS, and the prices range from 145,000 to 8.7 million. So in that range, I think we'd be able to find you a home if you're looking um, in that price range. The oldest home right now is a 1954 lake style home. It sits on almost a half an acre and it's about a five minute walk to Lake Grapevine. So as Marilyn said, if you're into the visiting the lakes and this home is within your price range, you may want to consider moving out into the Flower Mound area. It's got a beautiful kitchen inside. It's been remodeled. So if you're interested in taking a look at this home, uh, give us a call, we'll show you. Of course, in, in all that, there are new construction homes that are springing up all over the Flower Mound area. And um, we can show you some of those as well. But today we're going to be visiting some other properties. All right, so the medium statistics for the current homes listed for sale in the MLS in Flower Mound, Texas, as of this video, is a four bedroom, four bath home, 3,353 square feet, 2,000 year built, three car garage. The medium price per square mm. foot is $252 and the medium list price for the homes right wow. now currently listed is $789,990. Mm. The median home statistics for homes sold in the past 90 days is 212 homes sold. There are four bedroom, three bath, 2,846 square foot built in 1996, two car garage, and the price per square foot is $225. The list price is 625 and the sold price is $618,750. So the percent of list price to sold price is 99.2 and the average days on the market has been 24. And guys, just, you know, what we want to make a note is that Flower Mound is a very desirable place to live. Mm -hmm. And I know that if you look at some of our other videos, you'll notice in some of the other mm -hmm. areas that days on the market is longer like right. almost 60, 60 days on the average for days on the market. But in Flower Mount, it seems that the days on the market are shorter. And I think it's because mm -hmm. of the master plan mm -hmm. of the town of Flower Mount, the desirability. And as we said right. earlier, it's just a, a great balance between natural green space and city living. So guys, stick around because we're gonna begin our tour. Right for those uh, three neighborhoods in three different price points, we're gonna see um, a home in the $600,000 range, a home in the $800,000 mm -hmm. range, and $1 million range. All right, now we're starting our tour in the Flower Mound area of the homes at three different price points. And we're gonna start at the $600,000 range. And uh, there's a lot of new construction in this area that you're gonna see. We're gonna take you around uh, the neighborhood in a little bit and show you this area. And you're gonna notice a lot of new construction. This home behind me is brand new construction, started in 2022, finished in 2023 and it's currently priced at $670,000, but get this, when it was originally listed months ago, $804,863. So that $670,000 price point um, look is looking pretty good right now. Now the home is 2,856 square foot. 
It's got three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and three living areas. Now at $670,000, that price per square foot is $234.59. Also, with only three bedrooms, there's going to be so much space in this house. And you'll notice that the bedrooms are very spacious. All the living areas are very spacious. It's a beautiful home inside. As you walk in, you'll notice there's, there's going to be a lot of natural light throughout the home. There's some wide, wide oak vinyl oak planks or oak luxury planks throughout the first floor area. It's a very large open concept kitchen great for entertaining. Upstairs, you have a, a, some flex space, a game room, media room, and uh, the community is great because it's just starting out. There's, there's pools, amenity centers. Um, we're gonna scan down the block here and you're gonna see some lots that are going up. There's a brand new home for sale across the street that's available. And this community is in the Argyle ISD that has an overall rating of A plus through niche. It's ranked 10 for the district with best teachers, ranked 11 for the best school district for athletics, and it's ranked 13 for the best school district. So if you're interested in a home like this in the $600,000 range, now this is on the far end of a uh, west end of Flower Mound, gorgeous drive out to here, and um, you're gonna love this community. Give us a call. We'd love to show you around here, but stick around because we're going to drive around the neighborhood and show you all the beautiful area around this home. Hey guys, so here we are at our second stop in our tour of homes of Flower Mound. And this one is in the $800,000 range. And this beautiful home behind me um, is a next gen, multi-generational home. So it's a home within a home. And what that means is you've got a separate entrance, there is a separate kitchen. And I also love the mixed use of the stone. And you'll see as we drive around, all these homes have a mixed use of brick, and stone, they have shutters. This is a beautiful, beautiful home and it's actually on a cul-de-sac, so it, it is a beautiful home. This specific home behind me that we're showcasing today was built in 2020. It's 3,726 square feet, two-story, obviously, as you can tell. This home has five bedrooms, so that's including the multi-generational home, three full baths, two and a half baths. It's got four living areas. It's got two dining areas. And this home right now is listed for $850,000, making the price per square foot at $228. And as I said, when you walk into this home, the first thing you're gonna be greeted is with that wooden um, glass panel door, which lets in all this natural light. And inside there is tons of natural light, the high vaulted ceilings. Um, and if you love to entertain, you're gonna love the primary kitchen in here because it is an open concept. It's an Eden kitchen. And the focal point of this home is that the fireplace is all modern tile from the floor to the ceiling. So that is your focal point. In the primary suite, you have separate vanities, his and her vanities. There are all natural hardwood floors throughout the home, plenty of kitchen space, plenty of cabinet space, but also the backyard backs up to a green belt. So it gives you a lot of privacy. And again, this isn't a cul-de-sac, so the through traffic isn't as, as much as you would on a main street. So if you're interested in a home in Flower Mount in the $800,000 range, our information is below. Give us a call. We'd love to give you more information, but stick around because we're gonna take you around the neighborhood and show you how beautiful the homes are here.
right, we are at our last stop on our tour around Flower Mound. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. And we are ending with a gorgeous home. This is in the million dollar range. And right now this home is listed at $1,699,000. And beautiful home. You can see there's a four car garage here. Beautiful elevation. Um, this is a sprawling ranch style home. It sits on close to three quarters of an acre. It's located just right off of 1171 in the western area of Flower Mound. Very quaint little neighborhood. Right now, there looks like there's only about 15 to 16 homes in this little area. You're close to 35W. You're close to going down to Keller off of 377. So you can see it's a gorgeous home. This home was built in 2021. It's 4,522 square foot. There's four bedrooms, four full baths, a half bath, two living areas. And it's a Victor Myers uh, custom home. And uh, one of the great things about this from a uh, utility and economical point of view is the spray foam insulation, which is great for your utility bills. And it also keeps the home very bug proof. Again, it's close to the city, but it's far out where you could feel a little bit of country. It's a beautiful drive around 1171. The bedrooms are enormous. The secondary bedrooms all have um, spacious glass doors in them. The primary ensuite boasts a, a spa and a shower and tub that are places where you wanna just spend most of your day in. Uh, the owner suite has a sitting area that you'll see, the kitchen. Um, has built-in refrigerator, farm sinks, double ovens. There's a massive eight-foot island, a butler's pantry. This just is a gorgeous home, and um, it's a great home to, to wrap up our tour of Flower Mound with. So stick around. We're just going to drive around the neighborhood a little bit so you can get a feel of what it would be like to spend some time in the country but also be close to the city. So stick around, and we'll see you on the other side. Hey guys at the beginning of the video we talked about parker square and we thought well let's wrap things up here in the gathering spot of parker square hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video we did say that we were going to tour you around to three different neighborhoods at three different price points which was six hundred thousand dollar range eight hundred thousand dollar range and one million dollar mm. range so we hope that um you have some information if you are interested in moving into the town of Flower Mount, our information is down below. We'd love to be able to connect with you. But until then, we look forward to showing you around town the next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.